today we are going to make artwork inspired by artist named Henry Matisse. So let's take a look at his artwork. Okay, you noticed he is using this shape. Here's another shape, right? And here is uh, maybe a guitar. Maybe these might be hands, could be, could be hands. And also notice some fun shapes around these. Maybe people, or it could be some creatures, perhaps. And there's another interesting shapes and more leaf-like shapes around everywhere. And notice how colorful his artworks are. Another shape, another shape. Maybe this might be a person. Looks like it's a head with eyes. Maybe this is her arms, body. Maybe perhaps she's dancing. Okay, so we are going to make artworks that's inspired by Henry Matisse, but not exact, right? Inspired means that you're not making exact or Matisse, but like Matisse artwork. Okay, this is another one. So, this image is a sample of what we are going to be working today. Okay, this is kind of like Matisse artwork. You see shapes. Yeah, but it's kind of simplified, right? Okay, so you can use your paper this way or this way. That's your choice, okay? So either way is fine. I'm going to use it this way. And let's use skinnier marker. Do you have a black one? Okay, let's take the cap off. Okay, now we are going to be using only organic shapes. So as you know, organic shapes do not come with any rules whatsoever, right? So it's easy. You can start any which way you like. And you don't have to really think too hard because there are no rules. Here's one. Okay, I want you to be expressive. And also, I don't want you to make a little marks. I want you to make big marks. Okay, let's make another one. You can overlap another shape. Okay, here's another one. Another one. So I made three of them. Let's make three more. like this. Okay, you have three shapes. Now you have noticed, now you have more shapes than the origi original six, right? Because look, here is a shape. Here is another shape. There is a sh new shape. Another shape. This is another shape. So you have many more shapes that you've created out of the six original organic shapes. Now I want you to pick, um, let's pick uh, primary colors. Okay, primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So let's pick red. And you can pick whichever shape that you like. And I want you to use the first primary color, let's fill this shape here. This is the, my first shape, and you can color it in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just color it in.
That's pretty. Okay. I'm going to put this aside. Okay, we have two more primary colors, right? So we got blue and yellow. So let's pick blue. And I'm going to pick another shape. And I want you to pick another shape. Okay, I'm going to put blue here. Okay. Okay, the last of the primary color, yellow. I'm going to pick another shape. So I want you to pick another shape. I'm going to use this whole shape, yellow. Let's see how that's going to work. This one looks a little like a, like a bird to me, like a little baby chick or something. Don't worry, you don't have to get it perfect. It'll still look nice. Okay, that's my yellow. Okay, next we have green, purple, and orange. So these are secondary colors. So let's use green and let's pick another shape. Fill that space with green. Okay, purple, and pick another shape. So I'm going to do purple with this big space. Looks like a monster. Let's see. See, I'm not perfect. So it's okay. If you're not perfect, that's okay. Sometimes it's easier if you go over the line and just the color you're using. Kind of like this, like you trace the shape. And then you can fill it in. A little trick. And you can see where I went over the color over and over like this. Then you, you get really darker purple. So that's your choice. If you want it to be very dark, you can go over it many, many times. Then I'm going to trace the shape. Because this one's a big shape. So it's easier for me when I trace it over. Like that. Yeah, and color it in. Okay, the last primary color, I mean, I'm sorry, secondary color, orange. So I'm going to use this one. Let's see over here. Trace the shape. And you don't have to do it this way. This is how I do it. So if you have other method that works for you, then go for it. And that's fine too. This one looks like a like a dog or something. Maybe a fox. Okay. So that's my orange. Okay, now you might have other colors 
in your set of colors. Okay, so let's uh, pick another color. I have black, gray, pink, and brown. So I'm going to use brown. Okay, you can pick whatever color you like. And finish the rest of the shades. So brown is a relatively dark color, isn't it? So if you use lighter color, like yellow, around it, it might give a nice contrasting effect. Let's see what happens. Let's have a look after this. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, now, how does that look? I think it's looking good. Okay, so pick your favorite color. Today, my favorite color is green. So I'm going to use green again. So I have green here. So just to have the same color, maybe it would be fun if I use it far away from here instead of using it here, right, near the green. So let's see how that might look. How's that look? Okay, so I have a few more to go. I haven't used pink yet, so I'm going to use pink. Where should I put this? Pink. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, and I have this gray. So I'm going to use gray in this area. So, one other thing, you may not have colors other than primary colors and secondary colors. So that's okay if you don't have grays and pink. You can just use whatever color that you have in your, in your package. And please do not forget to put caps back on, on your markers when you're finished. It's okay if you like overlap the gray with uh, the color next to it. It's okay. That's another effect too. Okay, the last one I have is black. I'm going to use black in this tiny little space. Okay, I have two more shapes. So pick your least favorite color now. You have a least favorite color? Okay, mine is going to be brown. Okay, I'm going to put brown here. I have one more little space. 
Maybe I will use another blue. And I'm finished. Let's have a look. What do you think? I think it came out pretty nice. And this is the end of the lesson.